African continent now in East Africa, former Kenyan President Daniel Arab Moy has died at the age of 95. His death was announced by President Uhuru Kenyatta. Moy came, came to power in 1978. He became Kenya's longest serving president and presided over years of repression and economic strife due to corruption. By the time he stepped down in 2002, corruption had left Kenya's economy with negative growth. Well, let's discuss uh, Daniel Arab Moy's legacy now. We're now joined by international relations consultant, Charles Sinkala. Dr. Sinkala, good afternoon. Thank you for joining me. So always tricky talking issues of legacy because it's always mixed, isn't it? But in your assessment, I mean, uh, Daniel Arab Moy came in 1978 at the death of um, Jomo Mzi Kenyatta um, and ruled for 24 years. In that 24 years, what's your sense of how history will remember Daniel Daniel Arab Moy. Thank you very much, uh, Tola Sizwe, and uh, good afternoon to your viewers. Uh, you see, while I was coming to your captain studio, I just uh, a thought came into my mind that uh, uh, the age 95 is quite uh, tricky. You remember very well uh, President Nelson Mandela also died at uh, 95. Uh, Robert Gabriel Mugabe from Zimbabwe as well at age 95. So now who is next in the liberation of uh, these uh, icons? But uh, you see, there is uh, uh, two different angles. One will look at in terms of uh, uh, President Arab, uh, 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 Daniel Arab Moy, you know, how he, uh, he, he descended to, uh, to his well-being and how he came to power. You know, most of them, they criticize him for... Uh, presiding on an autocratic uh, regime, you know, other ones as well, they uh, 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 celebrate him because he kept his uh, uh, ethnicity. Uh, you must remember very well that uh, Africa is uh, leading to independence post-1960, uh, 1957, when the first country, Ivory Coast, Ghana, regained high independence and the other countries uh, uh, proceeded there. They had one agenda to establish that uh, uh, once they take over the power from the colonial masters, they will create a system of one-party state so that they can uh, reunite the nations in Africa and make sure that uh, they are all working towards a one-go agenda. Uh, President Kenyatta as well, you know, uh, started that, unfortunately, died in the office. But uh, when you talk about uh, Daniel Arab uh, Moy, who came into office as well, he had that ideology uh, to keep a one-party state in, uh, in Kenya. But, you know, uh, this ideology never worked. Though the idea was good, it never worked as uh, because of ethnicity, different religious backgrounds, and the diversity views of people. Um, uh, and as well, you can hear that, you can remember uh, the Mai Mai uh, uh, um, uh, confrontation, you know, which was uh, established in Kenya where I presided and uh, uh, supported the ethnic groups, the, the Kikuyu, the Lua people and mm. the Kalenjini people started infighting that uh, he might be replaced. So, I mean, when we look at the current uh, Kenya, uh, as it is now, and also the last few years and the last few elections, uh, more critically, elections, for instance, the 2007, uh, late 2007 election there that saw a lot of violence. Um, to what extent um, are we able to draw a line between uh, what happened under the leadership of Daniel Arab Moy and the Kenya that we now have as a nation state? I think uh, uh, things have evolved now to multipartism. Uh, multipartism was introduced after the uh, assassination coup d'etat attempt in 1981 in Kenya, you know, and the pressure he received from within Kenya and the outside the, the continent that they must allow multipartism as the idea, ideology of the one-party state never worked because of certain things. So. Uh, things now have evolved now where uh, you can see how 
uh, Africa has matured in terms of uh, politics and elections. Uh, things have changed now. You can hear even recently when uh, uh, President Hulu Kenyatta had to reconcile with Odinga after the disputed elections, they had to rerun again. You know, we can see the sense of uh, uh, moving forward, uh, you know, as opposed to the autocratic regime which we had. A lot of people participating, especially I'm happy about it that because of the beauty that women are also participating in the running and governance of these elections. We, we can see that uh, they are moving away from dictatorial uh, type of regimes. You know, people can flag it out and... Uh, mentioned that uh, this is not a system of democracy. We need a system of democracy where each and every uh, democratic elected president hears the plight and the poor and the privileges and legends of the, of the people of the country. All right, thank you so much for that. That's Dr. Charles Sengala joining us from our Cape Town studios there, reflecting on the legacy of the late former president of Kenya, Daniel Arab Moy, who has passed on.